Today, we'll show you how to connect to data and create metadata, also known as a synonym, using the Connect to Data wizard. The synonym that you create can be used as a data source for your content, giving you access to a host of analytical tools. To launch the Connect to Data wizard, either click Connect to Data under the quick links on the home page, or right-click a domain or folder, point to metadata, and click Connect to Data. The first step in the Connect to Data wizard is creating a connection to your data. Here you can configure an adapter, add a connection, or change an existing connection. In this video, we will show you how to configure a new adapter. Once you have selected a data source type, you will be prompted to enter information for the connection. Depending on the data source type and the selections you make for the different properties, you will be required to supply information for different fields. Enter the parameters for the specific adapter. Once you have entered the necessary information, click Test. If the information is correct and the Connect to Data wizard is able to connect to your database, a report will appear confirming the connection. If not, you will receive an error message. Some fields may be case sensitive or require special formatting, so make sure that everything has been entered correctly. If the test is successful, go back to the configuration page and click Configure. You can then create a synonym from data from the connected server. This synonym can be used as a data source to create content such as charts, reports, documents, and visualizations. Once you've selected an adapter, click Next. Keep the Tables and Views checkboxes selected in the Select Synonym Candidates pane and click Next. You can choose one or more of these tables to turn into synonyms. You can also adjust some of the settings to change how the metadata is imported. For example, you can determine whether to create a new file or overwrite an old one and whether to automatically format date and geographic fields that are detected in the data. When you click Next, the synonym or synonyms are created. The next pane shows all the fields categorized as measures and dimensions and organized into hierarchies inferred from the data. Numeric fields are automatically interpreted as measures, while alphanumeric fields are categorized as dimensions, which can be structured into hierarchies, levels, and attributes. You can create a new hierarchy to enable drill downs in your data. This can be a great way to navigate through the data used in your content, adding significant flexibility. To create a hierarchy, right-click the Dimension folder and then click New Levels Hierarchy. Right-click the hierarchy to rename it and drag fields to populate it. You can also right-click a field to create an Attributes folder. You can drag fields that provide specific information about each value into this folder. You can move fields from one category to another if you want. For example, a year field may fit better as a dimension than a measure, even though it is a numeric field, since you may want to sort a chart or report by year. You can drag the year field from the measure group section to the dimension section to change how the field is interpreted. If you have any geographic fields, you can right-click the field and click Geographic Role to set a geographic role. Geographic roles allow you to plot locations on a map by matching field values to recognized locations. Just be sure that the format of the geographic role that you select matches the format of the values in the database. For example, make sure to select US state underscore ABBR instead of US state if your data uses state abbreviations instead of the full names of each state. Finally, you can view sample data, rename the field, or hide the field if you don't think the field would work well in created content. If the field is a measure, the shortcut menu provides an option to create a compute field, either from a set of common functions or by using the advanced option, which allows you to create a compute using more complex formulae. You can also use existing fields to create your own virtual fields by clicking an option on the ribbon. A define is a good way to combine alphanumeric dimension fields, while a compute is a good way to calculate new measure fields based on your existing data. If you have existing synonyms in your repository with related data, you can create a cluster to tie the synonyms together. This will create a synonym containing all of the fields from two or more synonyms, expanding the amount of data that is available. Once you're done editing your metadata, continue and save the synonym. It will be immediately available to be used for creating content. If you'd like to find out more, check the resources available in our Information Center.